Hey, so let me ask you this. It was a known fact that on the, uh, 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 and, and he may never, may not have even said nothing to you about this, but when he uh, did that, a big pimping with Jay Z. Yeah. Did you ever talk with him about anything about that? That no. Whole? I'm gonna tell you what, what what he told me and what I do know. Yeah. And I don't know how true it is, you know. But this is what he said. I said I do know, and I said Hold on, <laughs> that shit contradicts. <laughs> but um, at that time, I don't like talking about stuff like this because I'm married now. And at that time, I was married to someone else. Okay. So, so anyway, um, uh, again, I'm at work at Sears. I'm working You're at working man, spot. boy. Oh, they, yeah. they love him. He over oh. at Sears making that money. Oh, too. yeah, I did. Give it a loop. Years. Give it a loop. Yeah, get, <laughs> get up. Break yourself in. <laughs> anyway, I um I'm working at Sears and by the time I get home. Um well the song was already out. You know, you know, I, I remember being at the spot on Greenville. I'm a fair, I'm a rewind. We at the spot at Greenville, UGK is on concert, and um I'm standing right there by the DJ. I'm in the DJ booth. As they're performing, and we, I'm rolling weed in the deep, yeah, 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 and handing it to him on stage, <laughs> and then he say, "Bobo, tell Bird to give you that album." And then I look at this record, and it's a big pimping by. I said, "Why?" <laughs> this doing the show, yeah, you know. I said, "Why?" And so they play it that night. I said, oh, so okay. So fast forward to I'm at work, right? He calls, and uh, well, excuse me, I get home, and my wife say. At that time, my ex-wife says, uh, your boy been trying to call you all day. I said, what? So I called him back, and he said, man, I had Jay-Z right here trying to talk to you, man. I'm <laughs> down here. I said, Ugh. He wanted Jay to talk to you. I don't know you. why. Just wanted him to talk to I you. I don't know why. I don't know Jay said, tell me about the dude from the uh, yeah, song. Yeah, that song. Yeah. Let me talk to him. That was know. the album that really yeah, touched Jay-Z. Yeah, I don't know. But why? he wanted you to, you and him to talk. I don't know why. I never asked Chad why. Uh what made me come up or anything? Just the fact that he said Jay Z wanted to talk, to me, or he wanted me to talk to Jay Z. To Jay Z, yeah, one of the two. two. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's, that's, that's dope, man. That that's dope to have those type of memories and know yeah. that you that those conversations went on between you and Pimp. Oh, and, he called me. I talked to Chad back then. Oh shoot, for, for, I would say when we befriended each other, if we didn't talk every other night. You know, I know you hear a lot of people say, man, Chad like to call those late nights. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he called those late nights and wouldn't let you off the phone. Mine was every other night. Hey. Mine was every other night sometime. For a long time, it was every night. He just wanted to talk to you. you don't want to call like this. But then the one of the times that I'm too sleepy, I'm pretty sure it's when he God, calls so everybody. Like, <laughs> he so, called me every night, man. So yeah, just, he, I, I don't so know what he, made he like the pimping, the big pimping song? Uh, did he love uh, it? He never said he anything said to he, me. He yeah. just told me, you know, everybody knows the story about him not wanting not, to not do it. Not wanting to do it, but mm -hmm. I just wanted to know if he, after it happened, did he, he embrace it, you know? Chad, but he was doing so much, man. Move on to the Chad next was a thing. different yeah. dude, bro. Move on to the next thing. Chad was a different dude, bro. He was truly underground king. Mm -hmm. He never, ever wanted to give bad impression to his fan base. Yeah. He always wanted to stay street. And Southern and Texas, that's it. That's what that's what lock us in, right I there. I mean, he represented for Texas and Port Arthur, in the South. Yeah, harder than anybody. I, I know. ain't never seen nobody do it like yeah. that I heard in my life. Yeah, I heard uh, DMD say he will. I remember the first time I heard him rapping like that. In other words, he must have had a, a different, style different style. Yeah, at first. And when he said, I heard him rapping like that, that must have been that Southern Brawl. Yeah, he wasn't trying to hear it at nah, that point. Oh, man, but that Southern Brawl is what made what, us. Made, what made, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did, so early on, he dealt with uh, Master P and him a little bit. I can remember that. Yeah. Um, yeah. They had some differences. We won't have to get into all that. But uh, did you remember some of those relationships and some yeah, of those times? I remember doing the show in uh, Jackson, Mississippi. We did a show in Jackson, Mississippi. And uh, this was the only time. That I didn't have my own room. Okay. So I don't know what happened, but they put Bird and myself in the same room. But the room was huge. Okay. And instead of twin beds, each one of us had king size, king size beds bed, yeah. in the room. Wow. And so after the show, I can remember this. This is weird. Um, Smoke D. Smoke D had got out of jail. He came by the room. He had this CD. 
at the time, and it was Masterpiece first CD where he laying down. You yeah, know what I'm talking about? yeah. And we didn't have no music, so we had a party in our room, you know, with the bops. And so, so all the girls came by our room. We didn't have no music, so we put that CD on and just playing over and over. And over. He said, man, this dude here jamming, jamming. Fast forward, about um, two months later, we do a show. I can't think of the name of the town in Louisiana. Well, we meet this guy called uh, Money. Okay. Money, and he's, he was starting a group. It was called CC Waterbound. Okay. Well, Money's cousin was Moby Dick. Okay. So Moby Dick was the the introduction to Master P. Mm-hmm. So about a month later, Chad's like, "Hey, this guy's, you know, he's he's sending for us to come down and do a, a verse with him." So that's when you heard the first. Which uh, which one was it? Because it was a, uh, it was a few of them. I got uh, four eighteen wheelers from back to front. <sighs> yeah, that, that boy used if to. If I had home. a sweet, yeah, for every bitch that I fucked, he up. killed that. Yeah. That one. Bitch from the stop stack G. That one. That one. That one. That was he the came one. Straight to my house. That thing, Jack. He, and he had the best verse on it, uh, in my opinion, uh, by uh, far. Come on, when he when now he got see you gave me up for every yeah that one. I know exactly which he one. He used it. to be so conscious about his rap because he everybody was on bond as far yeah. as lyrics. Yeah. And when I moved in with him, he said, "Bubba, I'm gonna do something to you that you gonna get tired of." I've already mastered these beats. So let me let me rewind. I finally get inside this house and realize that this boy got at 18 does have he a got, house. He do have a house. You go yes. into that. And everybody, everybody. At his house. Well, everybody that know Pimp and he allowed to come in his house know about the weed room. So we got the weed room in his house. And my room was across from the weed room. It was the weed room, the bathroom. The bathroom was where they recorded uh, uh I think break them out some and all that stuff. Master P was in there. Yeah. And my bedroom was that bedroom right there. But anyway, yeah. So yeah, he's a did. he's a Leo, so he he rolled up on the house one day and knocked. He didn't know nobody really. <laughs> oh, at Pimp House? Yeah, he he's said he, so. But he said he got to hit the blood and then he left. You remember that? That's the house. Oh, that's uh, all the joy or whatever it was. You know about him and uh, Blue Light getting into it? No, what what mm-hmm. happened? Well, you know Blue Light is from the, the other rap on Short Texas. Uh okay. Okay. Is, is real kite. Yeah. That, See, when, when I moved to when I moved to Port Arthur, it was a civil war going on. UGK posse against that clique. Okay. And they had just jumped on Bun in the club. Wow. And so that night I got there, we was going to the club. Yeah. To figure out what it was a problem. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So yeah, it was uh, I remember moving to Port we moved I moved to Port Arthur. They said, come to Houston, we got a show. And then we go after the show, we just so I bought all my bags and hey. everything to the show. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that that's how that went. I had my partner drive me to Houston. And then I rode with them back to, to Port Arthur, and then that very night is when we went to the uh, went to the club. But, but you but but I know you and Pimp was real solid. But how how do you how do you think Pimp's and Bun's relationship was, and how did you how did you like the way they? I know the music was solid always, you know. But just how vibing with them, riding with them, dealing with them, how was that? Um, I mean, they're brothers. They're brothers. They're brothers. I mean, brothers have. Issues at yeah, times, brothers. Yeah. I mean, everything ain't always hunky dory. Yeah, but, but then they, they were brothers. Yes. Every time it came down to it, you better not say shit about pimp to bun. You, you better, better not, not say nothing, nothing about nothing, bun nothing, to nothing. pimp. Yeah, and, and it was always any, any friction was always behind closed doors. Yeah, yeah. That's why when I heard something about the UGK posse getting into it one time in Houston after he had died, it ran me so hot. Yeah, because I was you like, knew that wasn't the way it go. Yeah, seventeen. And then, come on, bro. And I called him, I said, bro, what are y'all doing? Yeah, but you because gotta understand was, they went through a lot though. That's a lot to lose pimp. But to get into it with each other? Yeah, in, but in they in public? Yeah, no, nah, that's bad. In public? Yeah. At a, at a concert? Yeah, that's bad. No, nah, bro. That's bad. No, nah, man. That's just like them dudes. But they hurt. The sideline. But they hurt. They hurt, but everybody And I hurt. guarantee you, when you lose a pimp, that's a big loss, man. You say that, but I know the, the real. You in you in the midst of it. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't there. Yeah, but you know what's going I on. I know what Chad yeah. told me about people. Every, everybody that was around Chad after he got out of jail, I knew why they were around Chad yeah. because he told me why he was, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he I, I, I never way. released some of that information. No, no, for, I get it. For for their feelings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, no, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah, but some of them, you know, like, I mean, I'm not cool. I don't have any allegiance with him, but like the 17 cat. Yeah, know? yeah. I, you know, he told me the situations why he was around. You know, the thing about Chad, he was... Big time opportunists. Yeah. And it was about that bread. Yeah. And the thing, and see, P 
people in the UGK posse, you know, everybody was waiting on their album and their opportunity. Who's going to be next? And the yeah. reason 17 got put in front of everybody, this is from Chad. He had his own money. Yeah. He bought his way in. Yeah. Yeah. Like, here, Chad, do this for me. Just, yeah, you know, I want to be a part of something. Yeah. Try to get my set. And my that's all up. it was. Yeah, and yeah. And that's all it was. It was a business opportunity. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. so the, the shit about the protege and all yeah. that, yeah. all that came after Chad died. Yeah, Chad yeah. Chad never called him that. Yeah. Steve Below is the protege. I know, that's what Bond said. Steve Below is the protege. Yeah. By far. Yeah. I met Steve Below through Chad. Through Chad. And that was... How you gonna introduce me to somebody from my city? <laughs> and, and that's exactly how. I, that's what I said to him. How the fuck you gonna introduce me to somebody from my own city? City. Yeah, but they had met through Louisiana. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Atlanta. He told a story on yeah, here. He yeah. told how they met and everything. Exactly. It was dope story as well, man. Yeah, yeah. So, so, but y'all all clicked after that, and and yeah. I see you and Steve Below still oh, maintaining relationship. Oh, that's my brother. Yeah, that, still my he brother. called me. He was like, man, you gotta do Bobo. I said, who the hell is Bobo? <laughs> he say, my man Bobo. I said, I don't say nothing else, nigga. Get that nigga to me, man. <laughs> but no, man, um, the thing I, I can attest to is that, um, you know, you guys are, 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 are the, you what make Texas what it is. When you look at what the foundation, I'm talking yeah. about, OG, I'm talking about Run C. I'm talking Nemesis. I'm yeah. talking about UGK. Yeah. I'm talking about, um, man, it's a bunch of them, though. I even say, uh, for sure, you shade the DJs, all that yeah, stuff, man. Yeah. Uh, even Dr. Rock, man. Oh, just yeah. when you would come and hear those, uh, I hate to go to work. So, oh, so, yeah. Come yeah. on, man. You yeah. know, yeah. we we can't forget about the foundation, man. You know what I'm saying? But let me tell you something about that. I'm getting my. I'm glad I got this platform. Yeah. A lot of people in this area always say, "Well, why Dallas can't pop? Mm -hmm. What's the difference between Dallas and Houston?" Houston, mm -hmm. yeah. The difference between Dallas and Houston is the younger cats don't know the history. You're right. And see, in Houston, they embrace the history. Yeah. And they work with the older people, you know, or at least communicate with yeah. them to learn game from yeah, them. Yeah, it's very, you know? very, very important. Yeah, I remember one time I met Trap. Yeah. I know Trap Mama. You know, yeah. I just realized I, I uh, Yellow Beezy's daddy was my homeboy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't even know that. Was, I remember Yellow Beezy when he was Trap little. Boy and dope. when I saw him, you know how you see somebody say, I know that dude face. But I seen him with his daddy as a youngster. Yeah. But I never, he grew up to be Yellow Beezy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, Tony. You know Tony, that, so yeah. you was cool with, with hey, Yellow uh, Beezy's dad. Yeah. And, and and that's because that's around our age. That's our thing. That's our thing. That's our thing. The dude um, used to pay me to come to, uh, rap at Suavemente. Yeah. At the after hours. Him See? and Big D. Yeah. Yeah, so his dad was one of those guys. Yeah. He was yeah. one of those guys, uh, yeah. a real, real stomp down. He was a hustler. Leader, hustler. He was a hustler, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's during, well, that, is that four players and all that? or Al for, Players Club and all that? You no, remember? it was after Players Club. After Players oh, Club. Oh, Players Club. You talking about Carol? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I've been there. Yeah. I'm just, Ooh, I went back. You know what I mean? Yeah, you yeah. way back. Yeah, but, but definitely, man. Um, uh, and trap, trap boy doing this thing. Like I said, and you got. I mean, I hated what happened with Mo three and all that, man. But that's still, you know, that's the history. Yeah, well, uh, you know, it. in the Bible, the genealogy is so important. You didn't think about it. Just going back, you know, yeah. like history is important. Even the slavery Anything sense is important. Yeah, but I don't know why Dallas. Dallas don't keep it. Don't make it an, a, a priority to be important. We different up here. Yeah, and I take it from this, okay? Because my mom's from Houston. And I, I spent a lot of time as a as a youngster in Houston. Mm -hmm. And so we come out 45, and we go straight to uh, Third Ward. Mm -hmm. And Third Ward was rough. You know, she went Sky to- Sky Street, she, she, all that. Yeah, she went to, yeah, uh, she stayed on Berry right off of Scott. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, she could walk to Yates and walk to TSU, mm -hmm. you know? So, and it was poverty stricken, yeah. you know? Yeah. And so then we leave and come get back on 45 heading get north. On, yes, yeah. And so I thought all of Houston was like that. Mm -hmm. And so Houston was a, is a blue collar city mm -hmm. to where a lot of Louisiana people, real friendly, you know, so they don't play, but the people are real, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna roll up their sleeves and go to work. That's yeah. the work ethic that they got. Mm -hmm. Here in Dallas, whew, I hate to say it, I grew up here so I can, a little bit more entitlement. Yeah, a lot of more entitlement, a lot of more small niggas, and all that type of shit. And so, yeah, I used we to. expect things here because we are Dallas, and we expect things to come to us because we are Dallas instead of going out and working for it. 
You know what I mean? Those boys in Houston was, they laid the blueprint on how, how to get out there and hit that road as far as. Um, That's what Ronnie said. Ronnie said, uh, Pimp taught him a lot on how to make money off of shows. Bro, let me tell you. Say, Pimp was good at that. He was. I mean, the ideas that he would have, you know, I was with Pimp before, and I'm, I want to talk about something else that. I got a couple soon, things that just keep popping up for as me. Soon, yeah. I, I got some things over yeah. here. I'm, I'm trickling I like, can remember, okay. Yeah, I can remember before he really started doing a lot of outside producing, you know, and that type of thing. When he just produced for himself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When he when he moved to Atlanta was when everything kind of really popped. Yeah. And he's, he, they, they, him and Bun call it rap hustling. Okay. That's what they called it. Um, I heard, I, know, I met the guy one time at the funeral. And so I'm not gonna bite my tongue. I heard a couple in the, I heard this guy say this a couple of times, so I know this is what he really feels. Mm -hmm. But uh David Banner. Okay. David Banner has this impression that Pimp C didn't know how to run the drum machine and he taught Pimp how to run the drum machine. Really? Yeah, I've heard him say that a couple of times. He didn't know how to run a MP. Okay. Because MP came out while he was locked up. Yeah. But man, he and I used to walk up in the studio with that ASR ten and the R eight. And kill most everything you heard from UGK pretty much in the in those the uh super tight yeah. and the uh um uh uh, uh Ryan toward dirty. the swallow no, uh, yeah, to yeah, Ryan Ryan dirty. Dirty. Yeah. yeah came out of Sand Jack, right? A lot okay. of it was recorded in Sand Jack on that ASR ten mm -hmm. and that R eight. And we used to walk up in the studio with that with those two pieces of equipment and everybody used to be like, Where's everything else? <laughs> This all that's all that's all you need. That's all this boy need. You heard me say he cracked out that that beat in fifteen minutes. Yeah, yeah. The boy was he was different. He was a little different, bro. Yeah. So why why do you think I, it probably because of the musical the, the, the musical? You know, I'm just talking about David Banner feeling that way because of the I age. Don't know. Well, you got the age difference. But what did he think if he made the beat song? They yeah. were they were not keyboard beats. Yeah, but they obviously got, the way that that, that Pimp could push maybe the speakers. He's, maybe he just wording it wrong, different. He's wearing it way wrong. <laughs> that's that, that's out of line, bro. It's blasphemy. Yeah, for him to say that Pimp didn't know how to run the drum machine. Come yeah, on, bro. Yeah, he yeah. Pocket yeah. full of stones. Woo. Are you serious? One man. Man, come that, on. That boy. That, that boy. I got a pocket full of stones. Uh, everything. Come on, man. And Bonnie tell you that R eight. Yeah. And then he gave that R eight to Steve Bilo. Bilo. Steve Bilo sat on that R eight the whole time Pimp was in jail. So that's what B-Lo was making his beat song. The, everything, B-Lo was the main producer on my album. Okay. R8. That R8. Trained by the pimp. So, so the pimp definitely could make Come any on. kind of beats he wanted to oh make. Oh, my God. Come on, man, the boy. He's different. Wow. Well, you know, people, well, maybe because, maybe pimp told David Banner something about he helped him to understand that type of beat machine. If that's what you think. <laughs> Let me tell you. Let yeah, he's trying you. to hear it. Let yeah. me tell you, bro, because I, I sit back in the and, and why, I mean, have you ever addressed him on it? No, this is the this first is me, time. This first is me addressing time. it. Oh, yeah. Put that in your tag. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm going to okay. tag you. Okay. That's me right there. You're, I'm good you. on that. You're, yeah, let me tell you. <laughs> a lot of people. See, I hadn't been doing no interviews. This is my first. Really? Wow. Yeah, a lot of people. What made you do this one right? We got to ask that. Because <laughs> we the dopest, right? We, we, this well, is dope, man. This is the thing I'm saying about this Steve though. No. Let me tell you about back up to the Steve Bilo. Okay. And I spoke. And I said to him, I said, Bilo, you know what's been going on with you and I? See, I suffer from depression. Wow, he do too, because he's been he him didn't talking about that it. Until Til you, you started talking, started about, talking about, it. about it. I said, You ever think that that situation that we went through with him passing is what led us into our depression? I said, Because at that time, you think about what was going on with me. This is what was going on with me. My record label was right here. Mm -hmm. I mean, two mixtapes were recorded. The album was, uh, second album was recorded. Um, everything, everything was working. Everything was moving. Chad was talking, you know, we, were, we everything was popping. Everything was popping. And then all of a sudden, my business partner go to jail. Mm -hmm. um, couple years. I don't know how long he's gonna be gone for. Uh, he's like the executive producer. You wow. know what I'm saying? I was the, I was the, the industry connect, yeah, the yeah, brain yeah. And, and, and the artist, and he was the, that was my guy. Yeah. He was the street guy. He was the street guy. Yeah, he was you. Yeah, he was the bag. <laughs> Watch yourself. He was the bag. He done put me in there. He was the bag. you telling the truth. He yeah. was the bag, you know what okay. I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. I started going through my divorce. That's a lot. Started going through my divorce. Um, Pimp died. 
That's a lot. And then my mom got diagnosed with um, diabetes and Alzheimer's at that time, with dementia at that yeah. time. Mm-hmm. So all that happened to me in oh. that year, in 2007. Wow. Yeah, all all in that second quarter, and then that in that fourth quarter of the year, everything pop 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 hit me, and I'm not knowing. That's before people start talking about depression. Yeah, yeah, nobody you know talking about mental illness. Well, well, they are, but they're not not in the black community. Not right. in the black community. And I know that's so true. I'm not so true. Men. I'm yes. not yeah, man, shake that shit off, nigga. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to, yeah, you got to have, shake it off. You got to have a big boy. Yeah, yeah so it was a bunch of drinking stuff yeah. I didn't need no, to be I'm doing. See, that's what I was yeah. gonna ask you. Yeah. If you, yeah. you know, who saved and my life? Who? Right there. Mm. Wow! Right there, and I could believe it because that was, was around spinning. the same time. I was. I already been calculating how did it over she, here. How, how, did, how did she get through to you? Our friendship. We were friends first. Mm. You know, it's God. I I work on faith. Mm-hmm. Hey. Everything I've ever done, pretty much all my life, is like if you say if if I'm talking about an adventure, a, a adventure, and then you say, "Hey, check this out, Bobo." I feel like God put me here to hear you say that. Mm-hmm. I think I'm here for a reason. Or a season. But you didn't wow. get that right away because I, I'm sure, this is just me making an assumption. I've heard. That, no, that whenever you were going through all of these things hitting you back to back to back, like any regular human being, they're going to say, God, why me? Yeah, I never did that. I never had self-pity. You just, the, only wrote, thing you I, just, the only thing I said why me on was the Chad situation because I didn't know how serious the diabetes and the, uh, uh, I didn't care about the divorce. Yeah, I didn't care about the divorce at all. Only thing I cared about the divorce was what was going to happen to my do, two daughters. Two daughters, mm-hmm. because see, she wasn't from Dallas, and I, I thought she was going to try to move my she, and try to try to take my away. kids, and then I ended up with custody of my kids, my wife and I. Yeah, so but, that, but that's me, unheard, men that's are men are cave men's too. They, they men know how to hide stuff real well. Yeah, mm-hmm. we'll yeah. hide stuff, and we'll still we'll be okay on the surface. Yeah. But then inside, dying. we dying. Dying on the inside. I know that. And, yeah. and and so I could see how you could hold it in. I'm Even up it. until this time. Yeah, I'm asking. I could see how it could still be a thing to where you still slowly recovering Bro, after all control. these years. So when did you realize that it was depression? Like how long ago? How long ago it was, baby? I can remember exactly when it Four was. Years, years. Whenever Black Panther came out. That's I when it was. Yeah. What triggered it? Boy, I was at work going off on everybody at work. I was at home going off on people at the house, and my wife says, listen, baby, you got something. Because every year around November, December, yeah. something changed It was changed always around the same time. His birthday and Something stuff. changed with me. So I, didn't, I couldn't figure it out. And she would just be like, you ever notice that this is happening around this time? And, I, you know, you know, your wife sees stuff in you that you don't yeah. see. Yeah. And so I was like, she said, hey. You need to go talk to somebody, somebody, yeah, or you need to go to the doctor. One of the two. There's no cure for that. Those are your two choices. And I decided to go to the doctor. Dope. And so I'm still on medication to this day. That's good, man. And it, man. let me tell you something. I got a weakness for uh, medicine. Yeah. You know, even through like the X pills thing. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. can't take no whole X pill. Give me a half. And I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so things that would have tried to normally take people a week to get in their system and work that first night bro she told me she said take the pill because my wife is an rn okay and okay. so a, a damn good one and so she told me she said take it at night because it's mm-hmm. this is some strong medication and sure enough that night bro it knocked I, you out fuck i feel it's, it's amazing i bought up x pills because i felt like i was rolling yeah i threw the sheets off of me i felt like the bed was moving when i woke <laughs> up the next day it looked like a light bulb was off at me. Wow. I went to work apologizing to people. Man, when I cussed you out yesterday, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm bro. sorry. That ain't me. That ain't me. Um, yeah, literally. Wow. I went to work and apologized to about four or five people. That's dope. Yeah. Uh, but why did you choose the doctor over going to go talk to somebody? Time. Car business keep you from having too much time. You know, to I, I, my time off, I really try to spend with my family. The reason why I ask that because there's a lot of people who go through um, mental illness, depression, all of that. And some people say, well, I can't take the pills. And some people say, I'm going to deal with this by myself. Yeah. Some people say all different sort of stuff. So that I was medicine trying is to figure a beast. out. Yeah. That medicine is a beast. I'm telling you. Wow. Because without it. <sighs> wow. Yeah. Let yeah. me, let, let, I'm, well, we gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch gears on you. I had one more question, though. About the mental illness. No. 
Okay. Where did you get a name Bobo Luciano? Well, Bobo, I've always been Bobo since. From you, your mama? No, nah, no. Nah, Who my called friends. you? First person who called me Bobo was a guy named Kevin Paul, KP. Why? Because my arms. Because my arms afflicted. See how my arms are bowed out? Oh. <laughs> and everybody used to always say, you always look like you want to fight out. somebody. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's Call you Bobo. Bobo. So oh. I was Bobo from a child. And then um, I was doing a guest verse on somebody's record. I can't remember what it was. And I said Bobo Luciano in that verse. Everybody said, that's hot. That's it. Nigga, that's hot. And that's how I get. Oh, okay. That's how I get. Let me ask you. I want to go back to Piano. Oh, hold on. Oh. And Luciano, you know, the guy who, he was the one that they gave the um, the title to the person that organized the mob. Lucky yeah, Luciano. Yeah, I, yeah, that's right. And so that's what I, when I came back to Dallas, Pimp sent me, <laughs> Pimp sent me here on a mission. He said, well, I want you to go back to Dallas. I want you to get your shit going in music. And then we're going to start a movement. And at that time, Dallas was UGK's biggest market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Atlanta, we just talked about that. I mean, but it was Dallas for a long time. Long time. I mean, we we had more concerts here than than anywhere outside of Louisiana. Yeah. And uh, yeah. And so then he told me get something going, and that's what I did. So let me ask you about. Uh, uh, I want I want to ask you about how I know how Steve Bilo met. Uh, Pretty much, uh, pimp, yeah, pimp. Um, but but boosting him, boosting the Webby thing. Yeah, I want to kind of understand how that came to be from your perspective. Well, I really don't know. You because, don't know how he ran into tell you. Well, just from what everybody tell me, from what he okay, told me. Okay, you know? See, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That from situation. what he would, what he would, what he, how he addressed it as saying, "Hey, you know, I got to got Boosie." Well, he never told you me. about Boosie. Yeah. That's what yeah. I, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He just, you know, Chad, man, I got your little nigga, man. He's dope. That's it. You know, that's all we talk about. Yeah. Was, we used to talk about other stuff besides artists, you know. Because I remember when Boosie came, you know, like, when he came out, I know I got my first CD from George over there. Yeah. And he gave it to me. They had no nothing but Boosie on there. Yeah. I think Pimp C and Boosie had a song together, I want to say. It was a long time ago. Finger fucking with my... With yeah, my, it was, yeah, it was something, it was something they had Steve together. Steve Yeah. Oh, Yeah. Finger fucking with my ring, with my with, yeah. my with my diamonds on. Yeah, but it was a, it was. I think he had a whole CD too. But, but <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never heard that. No, uh, but listen, <laughs> he, he had a whole CD, and uh, and he just told me that Pimp C, you know, pretty much rock with with Boosie, and um, I always thought like, dang man, I, Pimp, you, you know, and even Webby, they love they love bringing his name up and yeah. talking about him because of the legacy they left for them too. Yeah. So it's like even the KLC when he was on here talked about yeah. Pimp. Pimp left a piece with Mr. Lee as well. Let me tell you something, because I, I listened to it all. Yeah, he affected he did. everybody that he came in touch he with. He did. It like. Everybody. He was a different dude, bro. He was a beacon. And, and if, if you in a been different around, way. Yes. Each person in a different way. Yes. Yes. That's crazy. Yes. Yes. And like I say, I, I don't want to, it, 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 it's so much to what you just said. People take stuff and then in their head, you remember I say they, they make these things up. So much to the point that a famous DJ, I can say his name in Houston, he claimed Bobo because he had just lost a little boy in the house fire as well. Really? He said he was the Bobo that Chad was talking about on the song. Ooh. You can't say his name. I, I can't. He said he can. But, you know. Oh, you, okay. You know, I don't want to. But you don't want to. He thinks that. I, I, In he, his hold heart. Hold on. You said a famous DJ. Is, does he still, is he still a famous DJ right now? In Houston? Oh, my God, yes. And he thinks that that was to yeah. him. If I say his name, you'd be like, What? <laughs> but he did lose a child in, in, in a in a, I, in, in a similar way. In similar but that's Same dope, time? though. That he would, I don't same, know. Yeah, because I, that, it would have I, to be around the same time for. Chad told me on two to, different occasions. Said so the guy approached him, and said, "Bro, thank you for for doing that song for me." Chad said, "Bro, it was and and when, if did Chad didn't bust his bubble, Bobo? huh? No, no, no. And, and, but it's if good. Chad didn't bust his bubble. I'm, I'm you, not gonna bust exactly. His bubble. Okay. And that's that that's therapeutic for him. Yes, mm -hmm. that's why he, he what he's saying is he affect people like right. like so much that. It crosses over into places oh, yeah. where you wouldn't even imagine. I hear a lot of people say stuff. I'd be like, Pfft. you know the truth. And that's the one that you know about. But imagine how many other people 
might feel that way that yeah. that was about that's yeah. what I'm saying ain't gonna lie when he did he'll make you feel like that though yeah he made me feel like a pocket yeah. full of stones he, I was <laughs> oh yeah Oh, I yeah. was that guy in the beginning. You know, yeah, it was if Chad me. was in Dallas, <laughs> everybody know. Everybody. <laughs> he made you feel it. Huh? I was rolling. Oh yeah, I, had, I was a man. Oh, yeah, I, and I was like, man, this dude. Yeah, this is this is all the therapy I need. Yeah. <laughs> it was different. It was because we weren't talking about D. No, back then they nobody was the first wasn't one. talking no. about it. When they came out talking about that D, I was like, that's why I think him and, when he was saying that about like even about. Alluding to the fact that it was Jeezy or whoever about Original. fake dope prices and yeah. all that stuff, and not talking about the bad when you just talk about the good. Yeah. This stuff was really happening, and yes. I knew because being from the streets, yeah, I felt him on on uh, you saw the feds, it. the feds Come in on, town, man. and all that. That was therapeutic as yes. well, and it kept me aware. Of not getting caught up so much to not watch for the feds to come to the town. <laughs> it ain't all about balling. <laughs> it ain't real. all about balling when you. That's right. Up. When you yeah. really, you got to be yeah. mentally able to deal with this Everything. as you hustling. Yes. All this, like I say, he was the counselor. He was a counselor yeah. for me. That's I. Now you, hey, you might be helping me tonight. That that may be why I loved his music so yeah. much because being in the streets, it. it was dangerous. Yeah. Doing all the stuff that was happening during that time, and at the end of the day, it made you feel. Like everything was going to be okay. And yep. if it wasn't, you knew what you had to face. Exactly. Because you think, outside looking in, people thought, oh, they glorifying it. But no, it wasn't a glorification of no, it. Not at all. All they did was say what they did, they had been through, and the pitfalls. Yeah. You make your own choices. Wow. You make your own choices. Yeah. And they could paint some vivid pictures. And let me tell you something. I can remember, I told you about how them boys could rap, and, and they would rap about, Real life experiences, and that's like, right. And you go back to Port all thing, be like, damn, that shit did happen. That shit was real. Yeah, that's what. That's Mike <laughs> Jones when he talked about the car getting hit. Yeah, and uh, yeah. uh zero gonna ride blue, and I'm gonna ride red. Yes, but that brings up something else. Uh, it brings up that knocking those down. That, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, like for him to come home and make that song like that. Yeah, and and to make everybody understand that we have to do better by each other. Um, he was what was that dude, about? Bro. Did he ever talk to you about yeah. knocking doors down? Yeah, he was. I mean, sitting him down like that, you know, it's therapeutic for some people. Some yeah. people go a different way. Some yeah. people do. They get the uh, rehabilitation that they really need. I think Chad really got rehabilitated. He he got to think about, damn, I'm fucking up a lot of money. Yeah. I mean, he he fucked up family. You know, I'm talking about Bun and myself. Yeah. You know, money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, he talked to me about it. So when he came out, you know, what? Well, excuse me, while he was in there, all, none of these artists were out. You have to realize. Yeah, yeah. He didn't know Chameleon there. He didn't know none, none of, of them. We were DJ Screw people. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. remember the first night I met DJ Screw, Master P came through. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the night I got the Bobo tattoo yeah. was the first night I met Screw, uh, 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 Master P came through. So we were... DJ screw heads. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Before the Michael Watts and all that came yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. But so when all that came out, he was in jail. He was in jail. Well, I take that back. They were bubbling, but he didn't have relationships with them. But when he got out, they had all gone platinum. Yeah. Like Jones, yeah. Yeah. Flip, yeah. Powell, Chameleon Air. Slim, you know, so they all have names now. T Row was doing his thing. So they had went from being, you know, small underground to stars, to beefing. Yeah. And he felt like, why? Yeah, he's like, what the fuck? They gonna take this shit from us. Because he was all about the South. South. That's right, you Texas. The South is too big. And the whole South, actually. Yeah, he the was whole South, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and, yeah, yeah. That quit hating the South, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> that quit hating the South, man. That boy hate, I'm gonna say he he didn't hate the other coast. He, he didn't just, play about he, this one. He didn't play about this one. <laughs> That's what we knew. He did not play about Texas. He didn't play about Port Arthur. And he didn't play about the South. So if you talk down on the South, you was going to hear it every time. Did you, what, did he feel a way, did anything ever happen that made him feel like, man, well, he talked about BET. Yep. He talked about all these different places where they was pretty much He's just not, observing. Yeah, they wasn't showing us the shine yep. that that we we deserved. He exactly. felt, 
And and we didn't need it because the money was coming anyway, right? Not the big money. But the respect was not there. The respect wasn't there. I mean, listen to Outkast. I mean, they were closer to the East Coast. Yeah, when they were. say the, the South yeah. got something to say. Yeah, well, with the fact that they say when they got to Houston, I mean, got to New York, they got booed. Yeah. I mean, the Ghetto Boys got booed. Yeah. I mean, UGK just never went up there to do any shows during those times, those first two albums. So we're down here building this big foundation, Mason Dixon line on down. Mm-hmm. And we don't really need them. You can go platinum down right here. Right here. Lil Flip was one of the one of the ones that opened the eyes of that real fast. Well, Lil Flip, a lot of people didn't know that Lil Flip was the big one out of Houston. You know? He was, and I think that was what caused a lot of problems. Lil Flip was a bad boy, yeah, especially when he dropped that Sunshine song. Yeah, yeah, that Sunshine song took him to a new height. Uh, yeah, it broke it, it broke uh, uh, it broke culture barriers, man. Too. All overseas. It transcend culture. I heard him doing an interview the other day on Vlad. I don't know if I anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, cool. Yeah. But yeah, he um yeah, he mentioned that, you know, about how he's certain amount of records here in the United States and X amount of millions overseas. Yeah. Yeah, that boy yeah. did that. He did that. Yeah. He did that, man. But a lot of people didn't didn't They don't know that. Didn't like that either. Yeah, yeah, they don't like that. A lot of people did not like that. And um you know, I don't know where that came from. There's a few things I probably would say not on camera. But yeah. I know some things that I was like, man. Oh, yeah. I did, it didn't happen the way I wanted it to, but yeah. I felt the way about it. But yeah. the thing I can say, man, is uh, let me say this because we can go all night. Uh, yeah. But you and Steve B. Low, man, I'm going to try to get y'all back on here together. That's cool. That'll be a good time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's my brother. That'll be a good time. That's my brother. Um, And, and we can and we can run down through there, too. Oh, yeah. Because we're coming. Anytime you need me, just call me. Man, we would, hey, we would, I'm going to periodically have y'all on here. You don't even realize that I'm going to be calling you because. Okay. That's the foundation. Yeah. And I'm 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 old school with it. I just told you about genealogy, so I'm always stay close to the foundation. We need to get these kids listening to this. Yeah, but they do. Good. That's why I'm doing. How many subscribers you got now? Um 20 brag 2, on yourself. 000, 22, brag, brag 22, on you. 2012 months. That's the I ain't seen nobody do it. And we hit Vlad That's a couple major. of times and we hit that uh hip hop D, DX. That's major, bro. That they we got articles in all of that. Ain't no hating in me. Congratulations. I thank God for it because this you do see the younger people on here. Yeah. You see him rapping. We had Big X the Plug last night on here. He's okay. a new guy that's coming up, um, doing Look real well. Him. Look out for him. This area? He in there. Yeah, he's from mm-hmm. Dallas. Yeah, um, you have uh, a lot of the young, The it's the look. Uh, it's Podcasting is a thing right now. Yeah. So uh, we have a platform to where we got the young and the old. Yeah. We got everybody, it, it, nation, different nationalities. We got a doctor coming Sunday. We got a doctor coming Saturday. We got an NFL player mm-hmm. uh, coming, uh, a, a retired NFL player coming. Okay. Uh, so Saturday, yeah, because so we the don't, we be don't only Saturday. do music. Oh, we, yeah. we touch on yeah, the everything. Be, we do everything. Don't so. turn down nothing but your collar. Mm-hmm. That's it, because it's, 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 it's helping our it's people. It's helping people yes. through these yes. mics, through these cameras. That's beautiful. So you talked about the foundation a while ago, and you was like, you know, they don't know the history. They don't. This is how they learn it. They don't know by names. Did you hear what I say? Yeah. This is how you, they learn it. Your boy Trap walked in my job. This is that what I was telling you. And I, I walked up to him. I said, hey, bro, come in my office. And all I said was, you ever heard of a dude named Bobo Luciano from UGK? He said, mm-hmm. no, nah, bro. Never heard of it. I said, man, I just want to say, hey, man, thanks for doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing, brother. Shook his hand. Kept it moving. But and he if he's on. a smart kid, he would go outside and look up in his phone. Like, he probably did. Trap was. pretty sharp. Trap pretty sharp. Like, yeah. who are you talking about? Yeah. Trap yeah. pretty sharp. So I'm pretty sure he, if you didn't know then, he going to know now. Yeah, because I like Trap. Yeah. Yeah, I like Trap. But all of these guys are dope. The main oh, thing yeah. is, as the as the guys who are older, who ha- who do embrace the music or who have, have built the exactly. music, we have to build Bridges instead of walls. Yes. We have to show these people that we do love them. Yes. And if they have anything, we don't hold no all. It's just like a child that didn't know their parents. Yeah. And and that child finally get to understand that, oh, man, uh, that was who I, that's who done that. Then you can't get mad at them. You have to embrace them and show because yeah. it's partly our fault. See, the, yeah. the crack era and all that helped separate everything. You start thinking about uh, TDC and uh, all that stuff, the trap. Think about the traps that were set by some of the, I mean, Craig, was it Craig Watkins? I went to uh, school with Craig Watkins. Yeah, the ones who helped get, get the people the out DNA, of jail. With the DNA testing. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, now think about all the falsely accused that was pulled and snatched. Yeah. And they didn't even get everybody. I know, I know. So, so we, and, and then we say, well, they don't know the history. They it's don't. a reason. Well. 
we have to build we have to build it up correctly. We do, as older guys, man. We do, but sometimes people have to seek out history in their past. You know what I mean? Research. I get it, man. But you it's just like, like sometimes like us. sometimes well, these younger kids, I've heard some younger kids say that um they've reached out to some older older cats and they don't help. Well, who did they, they reach wanna- out to? <laughs> it ain't it ain't that many of us from that era. Mm-hmm. So they if they didn't reach out to Nemesis, which I know they didn't, if they didn't reach out to Ron C, which I know they didn't, if they didn't reach out to um Pimpster the people that were from, you know, I know that era. era. I, everybody you know, know 89, know. 90, you know, yeah. the ones that laid that original. See, if it wasn't for DJ Snake, none of that music would have even, well, I ain't going to say it wouldn't have ever come to Dallas. It wouldn't have been in Dallas when it got here. When it got here. When it, Yeah, because we were still just, all we had was what K104 was playing and 107.5. And I mean, how many rap songs do you think they were playing back then? And it was all commercialized yeah. rap songs. So to hear... Uh, Run DMC uh, to hear uh, KRS One, and then they bought the uh, Easy E and the NWA stuff on Can O N, and that was the first of that. And no one had ever heard any of this music before in their life. Wow. I know what changed Dallas. I know exactly what changed Dallas. And do you think some of these younger kids might be feeling or saying that back then is a different time? Y'all might not know about the way how things are now. Well, in the music industry, because that's have exactly what they're saying. Lot. That's why they're saying that. I believe that. You know what I mean? And you can't because that's what your me. kid. Well, that's what your kids say to you as parents. As parents, and, right? Yeah, oh, y'all don't know shit. Yeah, y'all, y'all mm-hmm. didn't even have cell phones back then. That's right. Y'all didn't even have Google back then. But we survived because we have some older rappers who come in who are still in the game who said that like it was hard to change when everything became digital. It to was, get used to that and so forth. You. Well, that's why you go back to the David you. Banner and all that stuff and the, yeah. the, the changing of the equipment. Mm-hmm. I got caught and, up in that. Yeah. I got caught up in that. I mean, we recently just released all my stuff digitally because right. I missed that wave. Right. I fucked off a lot of money. Yeah. Because of that depression shit. Not thinking in the, <laughs> this shit ain't going to work. You know, that's what I'm thinking, man. Come on. I didn't pay attention. So being a younger kid, they were like, okay, so what do you have to offer me? Just, I mean. Good game. Yeah. The game. Well, um, let me, and, and I, not, not offer, just know about know it. Know about it. So you know can, where you came from, so you know where you're going. And and that respect will take them so much further than what they're doing already. It will hit so hard. Yes, all them think they the first. I think I'm the first one out there. I got more radio plated. Bro, come on. Biscuit of Bachman was in full fucking blast down here. And everybody know it. Yeah, yeah. And so I don't never say anything about it. I don't say nothing because I'm, I'm humble. Yeah, you pose. Stay, you, well, you know how we do it. Yeah. So the, only time they re, the only time they'll research it, they want to sample something and be like, <laughs> yeah, oh, that's yeah, it. Yeah. 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 Somebody going to want to use that song. That, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's coming. It's coming, but it's going to be. It's going to be some money needed. <laughs> it's classic. Yeah, yeah. It's a classic song that I kept close to heart yeah. recently. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's on all on streaming, streaming platforms. Platform. Yeah, now, but like I said, I missed that way for years and years and years and years. You know, so wow. I missed out a lot of money. Yes. It, yeah, but the thing is, man, it, it wasn't about money for me though. It never. It was. I, I, I wasn't rapping for money. A lot of people did. I rap because I love music, and I was trying to help people. I was trying to start a label to help the people. My wife rapped. Uh, uh, I had a group called the Swisser Boys. Uh, Baby Rue, Low Key, I had, you know, Roguish Life Entertainment. We were doing our thing, but I, I was just the person that started it because of the UGK affiliation. Yeah, You know yeah. what I'm saying? We knew we had an avenue. It ain't what you know, it's who you know. Mm-hmm. And, you know, back then, I knew a lot of fucking people. Yeah, You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and we were going to use those relationships to better our lives. And that's yeah. why, that's the only reason I did I didn't do it for money. I did it, you know, I wasn't trying to get rich, in other words. Yeah. Uh, it was all about the music to me. I mean, that, that's I was we was playing my record uh, earlier, and I was, um, you know, was just the scratching in it. I said, "You ever hear any scratching in anybody records in Dallas?" Uh-uh. I said, "I did it for the hip hop, hey, because I love hip hop, yeah." And so that, that's where it's at. With, with, with man, when you come from where you come from and have done what you done, yeah, you should be very proud of yourself and don't hesitate to conversate. Yeah. Because that's that's how you if grow. If they reach out, I come. No, I'm talking about for for yourself, counseling, talking about. Oh yes, yes. It, giving that story that helps that helps you heal. You're the first. But I'm I'm loving it. I'm gonna put it out. <laughs> it might go hard. I can tell you You're right now. You know the, the thing I can say is we have to do that. It, 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 
when you go through something that 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 have you in a depressive state, it's best. You hear people say it's best to talk about. You got to talk about. It. But see, this is gonna be my therapy, like you said. That's it. I'm still taking my medicine. Yeah. But talking to my wife, my family. Yeah. Well, I really don't talk to and me. Talk to my wife. Now you got a new friend, E C O E. Man, stop playing. Man. You no, can, hey, Miss Jamaica is in the building. Huh. Say, bow, man, bow, so bow. so. <laughs> be looking for me within the next few months. Lord say the same. I always say the Lord say the same to try to get you and Steve Bilo on this panel again, so okay. we can just talk and have a good time, man, and just uh, reminisce about you know the 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 music. Yeah. Um. The 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 changes in the music. Yeah. And he said he fit to do a little Southern Soul. Yeah, I, he's been working on that for a while. <laughs> he doesn't heard any of the music. He, he, he said, but here, this will be the first place he bring it, he told me. I'm going to tell you some stuff, bro. Steve B. Lowe, like I heard y'all, I heard Bond talking about the uh, Swissers and Dose. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. going to tell you a story about that, and he'll, t- he'll tell you. He first put that song up on MySpace. Really? It was in the little music. Remember, you could put like four or five yeah, songs. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was on MySpace. It, he was putting the instrumentals up. And I was listening to this. All this is why Chad in jail. Yeah. Two years, maybe a year before Chad came home. And when I got to that Swiss and Doge, I told him, I said, bro, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I said, that is my shit. I said, that's my kind of music. Wow. And for Chad to come home, and that's the only beat Chad he picked. Boy, that spirit's right there. That's below. I said, below, that's the one right there. I was like, I can't ask. That's Zodico. I ain't That's what knows. he said. He said. He said he wasn't even gonna send that one when he sent the package of beats. The song. The beats. I don't know one. why. He said that wasn't the one. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Because the, the kind of music that Pimp and Bun were making, that hustler type of music. Yeah, yeah. That was me. I loved it because you know, we, yeah, we grew yeah. up doing that black exploitation yeah. stuff. The Mac, rest in peace, Max Julian. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's crazy. Isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. He said, Pimp. How, the let me see it all these songs man I just think back all the time how they come up with that that's what I'm saying yeah, the boy was let me tell you something Port Arthur have you ever been there no no we hadn't been there okay, let me we tell need you about to that. go to Port Arthur you know we be, we be right the down there by it it ain't the same hurricanes have fucked that town off really but yeah shout out to Trilly Poke yeah, that's, that's boy, Trilly Poke home my people down there that's my that's my third home yeah that's my third home Houston's my second Port Arthur so I'm going to say Port Arthur is my second home. Okay. Houston is my third. Okay. Okay. Um, well, Port Arthur, small. East side and west side. Okay. If you're going north or south, you're coming about a Port Arthur. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, Bum B is a genius. A, a, a genius. Why do you okay. think Bun's a genius? I, I met him and Wait a he, minute. he's a sharp dude. And Pimp is a genius. Why do you say that? Them boys were 17 and 18. Listen to that stuff they were saying. Yeah. Listen to the detail in the music that that man was playing at 17 years old. If that ain't an old soul. That's a very old soul. That's an old soul. That boy was on Shaka Khan at yeah. 17. That's our music. That, yeah, 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 yeah. We from a different era than they were from. Yeah, yeah. But for him to be on it, come on, man. Yeah. And that, the stuff that never came out, the album that got stolen, Oh my God! You you've heard some of the songs now, like the uh, you ever heard "Smooth Slinging"? I gotta go back. And Nothing find but smooth. Yeah, slanging. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That mm-hmm. bun be solo. Yeah, and that uh, Menage a Trois. Yeah, yeah. He gave me Menage a Trois. Wow. He said, you can have it because the label didn't clear none of that, so he said you can have it. I was just gonna rap the same lyrics, but I just once it you know once it went. By the time I started working on music, I went on use it. Yeah, it was yeah. a couple years later, but yeah. Man. That boy had an old soul. And you so for, tell. Them, for those two to be in that town, two geniuses, and find each other and create history like they did is amazing to me. Wow. I mean, because Bone could have went with a different producer. And yeah. Pimp could have went with a different rapper, which yeah. they did at first. Yeah, they, I but remember But they found each other and created history, bro. Wow. And Man. their relationship, like I say, yeah, it was, it was beautiful. At the same time, they had, you know. Everybody had everybody their back got and me. It was, never was nothing major. No. It was no, no, fuck you, Pim. No, no. None of that. None of that. That's you know? business, too. Yeah, a business. lot of it business, and you got personal, all that mixed up oh, yeah. in one. So. Yeah, so ain't yeah. nobody going to get along. For real. Well, man, hey, man, um, do you have anything else? No, sir. Man, let me tell you something, man. We love you. Love you, too, bro. And we're going to always reach out to you. Thank you. Um, we're going to say, hey, man, are you okay? 
Is there anything we can do? Oh, you know, that's what, that's, what pe- that's what real people do. And I'm country. So yeah, and then too. she Jamaican, so well, it's my a, family's it's a from East Texas. Really? Yeah, Tyler, Redland, Tyler, oh, Texas. Oh man, that's I, by I, I, Yeah, I know where you at. That's yeah. where I, I interviewed uh, Freeway. I went all the way to L.A. and interviewed Freeway Ricky Ross, and he oh, from, yeah? he from Tyler. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good people, good people, yeah, good people. Red clay dirt. <laughs> yeah, baby. Say man, thank you for coming on Boss thank Talk One Hundred and One, man. man. Hey, before I go. I want y'all to check, uh, you know, I started my thing, you know, All Heart of Dale Party. You got to say, yeah, your yeah, plugs, man. like, well, yeah. how can people find you? Yeah, just get on, you know, All Heart of Dale Party, AHDP, and uh, we on Facebook. We Instagram. On Instagram. What's that thing called, baby? The Anchor app. Hey. Uh, yeah, we using it all. You know, y'all can Spotify. <laughs> Spotify. Y'all check us out. We, we fairly new, but we doing our thing, you know what I'm saying? Man. We got, you know, we what we do, we do old school. Yeah. Everything from the beginning of rap to probably about 2005. Okay. And so we, you know, the stuff we love to hear. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so we got mixes. You know, me, I'm, I'm on there acting a goddamn monkey. Already. You know, it's, 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 it's beautiful, you know. So we, we got probably about six, seven episodes in. We just doing our thing. Man, man. I'm going to be shouting that thing out, man. Yeah, thank you, man. I'll hold and, uh, like voice. I said, we're going we gonna to try to always link back up and, and do something periodically to, as the platforms grow. Yeah, and yeah. Then next, and the next thing you know, uh, we a thing down here in the Dallas Yeah, market. thank you. Yeah, that's, what we gotta, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah I got to. Iron sharpens iron. Iron sharpens iron, you know, you man. You keep your wife. I'm going to keep my wife. Hey, shout out to my wife. To. Car. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm going to shout out my wife to the out official time. Miss Jamaica. Yeah, Wait. Jamaica, Jamaica, Jamaica. <laughs> Make a make a. <laughs> you well, know about hey, make a make In Houston? No. What? You don't what, know about what? the make a make a? It's called Jamaica Jamaica. That was a club in downtown Houston. It's going in. Historic. Mm. That's, Check that, that out. That's your people. Make a make a. Make a make a. Fool. Make a, make a. Check it, man. Sunday nice. <laughs> and Bobo Luciano is in the building. Um, do you, uh, what What do you think? Do you think we did a good job with him? We did an amazing job. You think so? Yes, man. Man. Well, if we didn't, he'll be back anyway. We're going to do better right next now. time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because I got a lot more. <laughs> you scratched the surface. Hey, no, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what we wanted to do. Because like I said, the stories have to come out. People need to. And I wanted to ask you about Pimp's son because he's yeah. incarcerated yeah. right now. Young Corey. I, I, yeah. I, 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 to see that because that's, that hurt that's me. generational curse. That hurt me. That's a cycle. That hurt me. Did you hear what I just oh, said? Yeah. That hurt me. And it had to be tough on him. I always, I told he's a Leo the same thing. Coming up under that shadow yes. and being looked upon a certain way, yes. and people looking at you and 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 putting things on you that you may not even be won't even you deal don't deserve with. it. He didn't deserve it. I mean, he has to be born like you know to him. See, exactly. He's, just, he's a person though. But I definitely I thought about that. I'm like every time I think about that, I ask Ronnie about that too. It's like man, it's, it, it hurt me. It's, it's it had to. Yeah. Do you reach out to him or he and I didn't have the same kind Y'all of relationship. Y'all didn't even have a relationship. I, I remember. Uh, Exactly when I was about to call him. When Chad. he was born? No, Chatty Boo. Me and Chad was it was a lot closer than uh than Corey. Corey. Yeah, Corey Corey was born, I think, when Ch- right as Chad was getting ready to go in. Okay. So get locked up. And so, you know, he was a little little baby. Same thing with Chris the uh his, his daughter through Shannara. Yeah. So uh, hadn't seen her since Chad died, bro. You know, they know uh, I, they know I'm here. You yeah. know, and I know where they are. You know, it's just time and real life keep us apart. But yeah. I love them all. Yeah, you know yeah. I, I, I've been in touch with uh, uh, Chatty Boo. You know, I'm, yeah. excuse me, Chad. Jordan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's got him chicken. Yeah. yeah, I remember. I mean, he was up here when he got the phone. Straight to Port Arthur. Straight to Port Arthur. Yeah, yeah. For the for the his mama had a rig. I remember that. Uh, and the baby was born. Wow. Natasha, what's up? Yeah. Shout out. You know so that, that that those are the things. Like I said, and, and I'm gonna I'm definitely I, I be writing people. Yeah. So if you locked up or whatever, I need I, I need I to said, start, bro. We got to start doing something yeah. together, me and you just write yeah. and, and pull each other up on it. We got to. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, let's, let's let's make sure we get this done. I need to get in touch with Corey, though. We can do it. Yeah, because I just, since you said that, I, I feel like I'm dead wrong. No, no, and, and it's okay <laughs> because you can fix it. You alive. Yeah, yeah. And you, it's, you're able it to ain't too late. It. That, that. You know what Chad said? It's never too late to stop being a bitch. <laughs> It's never too late to stop being a bitch. That's right. I've been I've been acting like a bitch, not not, not reaching out to that boy family. So, so we gonna, we gonna get it done. Yeah, it was all you know. I'm blaming it on the depression. Hey man, <laughs> I blame everything I didn't do on the depression. Man. <laughs> Check it, man. It's been another great segment of yeah. Boss Talk One Hundred and One. And we have.